Hello, Mr. Hot Dog. Hello. Hello, Daniel. Hello again. We are now looking uh, on a unicorn fever. Yes, from Horrible Guild, and uh, we're here in the Horrible Guild world with rainbows and rain and vampires and unicorns. But and but now we're here with with the to with the toy hot dog and the unicorns. Yes, that's me. Okay. And Casper is coming in and out. Okay, yes. so let's let's start with the unicorns. Okay. And uh, if you're going to Vendetta, I, I don't know. Does Does Vendetta have Giovanni? No, it's just the Cam Camarilla oh, clan. Oh so. Yes, just Camarilla. Yes, just from, Camarilla. from the fifth edition. Yeah. Okay. Right. This is yeah. so beautiful. Okay. Like, uh, I, I can see candy. Yes. Woo. Okay. So unicorn fever. Uh, the game is about. It's not about the races. It's about betting and betting the better than anyone else. It's about gaining glory, and it's about making money, which is uh, the best game out of the market. Yeah, sure. uh, so in, the, in, the, in this universe, you have this giant rainbow and the unicorn that just runs on it. And uh, we see, we've seen this, and we thought, well, why just not put some you know, coins involved in this? And it became Unicorn Fever. It's actually, in the real world, it's actually a, a reboot, we could call it, of uh, another game from Horrible Guild that was uh, Horse Fever. It was actually our first game, and it was all about uh, uh, horse races. And um, we kept some, um, some idea from it, um, especially the, the movement of the horses, or the unicorn in these cases, but we um, re-implemented and uh, modernized it a lot. The usual game is, uh, is divided in four races, and you can see, and I think you can see my hand moving, yes. and the blue one, okay? Yes. They are indicated here. At the end of the fourth race, the game ends, and uh, the player with most um, uh, fame which are the um, this token? I mm -hmm. don't, can't remember uh, how, how they how they call it in English, but it's uh, a lucky charm. It, the, the player with the most uh, fame is the winner. Is that clear so far? Yes. Four leaf, four leaf clovers. What, what yes. is it called in Italian? It's a, it's a clover. Yes, it's a quadrifoglio. Quadrifoglio. Ah, quadrifoglio. Yes. Ah. yes. Okay. okay. Perfect. So the first thing we do is receive our our owner tiles. I will let's do them color coded just for the sake of it. I'll take blue, and you will take red. This represents um, a stable, so basically a unicorn. You own that unicorn, and every time the unicorn wins, you score some money because it's that that your your unicorns. Okay. Just, oh, yes. just, a, just a simple reminder. Let me check out if I'm missing something from the setup. Uh, what you see here is uh, it's still not the final version because the guys at Tabletopia uh, didn't manage to uh, upload all the graphics in time. So uh, please, uh, please uh, take notice that it's not the final and it's different from actually what you have in the box. Especially the the magic cards are, uh, have a different background and are more easily easily readed. Okay. Okay, that's very very good to hear. But Kadi uh, already has the game, so I'm I'm sure in the in the next video, video final video, yes. we will we will yeah. okay. see for that. So if you could give us a, a, a rough Quick outline overview. for yes, the next absolutely. next ten minutes or so, because at five o'clock there is a, a there is a an event starting yes. uh, at the Heidelberg stage, so that would be really great. Okay. Thank you. So what what I did here was just a simple setup, determine the first player, and everyone gets gets a stable. Okay. This gets uh, randomized at each uh, at the start of each game. And this is the initial quotation of the horses, starting from the, the, the fastest to the slowest. In this case, the blue will be the slowest horse during the race. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the, one of the most important things in the game because you actually have to place bets. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just let me finish the setup and I, I'm going to explain it very quickly. Yeah. The slowest horse always starts in fever mode, so he is very uh, committed to actually not go last. It has, each horse has his own personality and, of course, his own special ability. It's a dark horse. Yes, and it's called fever mode. 
and uh, it only activated when the, the horse is last on the on on this track up there. So this is the setup. The game is divided in uh, let's say three phases. And the first phase is action selection, starting for the first player, which is the player which has the carrot. We can choose one of these action tokens. Oh no, my carrot is going away. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Well, you can choose one of these tokens. Each token represents a combination of action that you can uh, perform during the game. Um, let's start from the bottom. If I take what, this one, in this turn, I can buy a contract. That means this is a, an helper, and I can hire him, and put him in front of me, and this will give me uh, special abilities constant during all the game, because I bought him. Mm -hmm. this, uh, uh, the, um, this icon represents magic, and this means that I can play magic cards either to help or to um, slow, then, slow yeah. down the, the, the horses. All the magic cards are played from your hand. You start with a number of them in hand. And you have bonus and negative cards. The bonus, the yes, the positive cards are white and helps the unicorn run faster or protect the unicorns. The negative cards are uh, designated in black and they usually slow down the unicorn. Okay? I'm not that sure that it's really positive to be on fire, but maybe for well, the It's course, uh, metaphorically, right. metaphorically on fire. Let's see that. But <laughs> plus, they, they're magic unicorns. They're not so worried about it. Oh, but also, good, yeah. yes, um, many of these names were changed. For example, um, the Iron Ball became the sphere of impediment. That is much more, much more funny, I think. Yeah. So it's a bit tongue-in-cheek in the final version. Uh -huh. And so, the, as I said, the, this icon represents that you can play, the, the player who takes this token can play up to, uh, up to four cards, whatever he wants. All the, all the cards are played face down, so we never know what's, uh, what's uh, there, okay? So you're building stacks, okay. Yes, under each horse. Uh -huh. You only reveal them during a race that we will see in a moment. This token lets you become the first player, Mm -hmm. Makes you gain immediately 10 coin, which are represented by the second icon, and then play a card. It's uh, the jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. This, uh, this uh, icon represents placing a bet. Uh -huh. they, this is very, the special icon represents placing a winner bet. So it means that when I take this, I have to choose one of the winner's bet that are on the top. Take it in front of me. And this means, for example, that I bet that the blue horse will be the first to arrive, okay? Mm -hmm. I, can bet, uh, I can bet a number of money on it. Let's say I have two from my bank, of course, I didn't, I didn't distribute it, but okay. Mm -hmm. This means that if, this, uh, if the blue horses uh, actually fulfill my, my bet, I take the quotation of the blue horse when the race ends. For example, the blue horse is the last one, of course, but its value is multiplied by seven. Okay, so it means that if the, the blue horse manages to get first, I get seven times whatever uh, money I put on this. But it will never win. It's, it will be, <laughs> it, will, it will hardly win <laughs> at this point, but I can try and help it with cards, and also the race is not so deterministic because we have a luck involved. That we'll sure. see in a minute. Okay. Uh, there are also different type of bets. For example, I said that this means that that horse has to become first, has to arrive first. You also add um, a second bet that is called. Let me see the name because an early show. And this means that the unicorn needs to get uh, in the first three position, any position in the first three, on the podium, let's say, to speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This will give me um, money, just doubled, and also glory point, uh, as usual, as all the, all the other, um, other bets do, okay? Mm -hmm. And you also have a late show, which is, a, let's say, a lesser 
kind of uh, of bet that gives you less reward if you manage to do it. Okay. Yes. What's the what's the key point of this? I've told you I can uh, I have to choose one action token between this. The first action token is always the best action token in that pile. Let's say, for example, a simple one. This will let you play um, mm. magics. If I choose it first, I get to play four cards. The player who chooses second only gets to play three cards. OK? Mm. Got that, yeah. And this is the same. The, the third player who wants to play magic card cannot, cannot do that because we have no more token left. Okay. That action is burned. This is true for each of, uh, of the tokens. Let's say, for example, I want to place a winning bet. The first one to place a winning bet also get plus two uh, fame point if that bet uh, concludes. The second one only gets plus one. And the third one gets nothing. OK? Mm -hmm. And the same is the same building as for all, apart from these two that are printed on the board. So everyone can always do this. Did, yeah. Yes, but as you can see, they are very, very um, much less powerful yeah. than, mm -hmm. than the first one. The, this is uh, at least the key of the preparation phase. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that clear so far? Yes. Okay. How does the race go? So let's say we all... We all... Sorry, everyone can just choose once? Yes, one, one of no, those? Uh, okay. you do, you do three, time, three choices. Ah, okay. Three, 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 three actions. Yes, three actions. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, one for each, and you do you, geez, you do a run of table three times. Mm -hmm. okay. So we do three turns to pick yes. in picking. Okay, sorry, okay, I'm. Got it. No problem. <laughs> I get confused a lot. <laughs> How does the race work? So the basic race starts after we all choose the the actions, and. To start the race, first we um, we reveal any card, uh, any magic card under each uh, horse uh, or unicorn in this case, and we apply those effects. We have Spiro, many magic yeah. cards. Impediment. So Empire. yes, etc., etc., etc. Or you have to, to sprint, or you have to move immediately. Then we, they will move accordingly to the move card that is up here. This is a deck, a deck of card. You flip the first. And the card uh, indicates which unicorn will move and how much it will move. Is that clear so far? Yes, yes. sir. <laughs> the, it is uh, um, statistically probably, let's say, the, the highest horse will move better. Mm. But as you can see, like in this case, it's, it's possible that even the, the lower horses can have a sprint or a, mm -hmm. a feat of luck. Following this this card, we move the the unicorn. So let's say two for let, let's say we don't we don't have any special effect, so we move just for the card. It's three for the orange, two for the purple, yes, two for yellow, three for the blue, and green yes. as well too. Yes. Okay. Uh, two for that? the blue. Two for the blue. Oh sorry, sorry. Yes. Green was three. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. After this phase, there is the sprint phase. We take two dice that in the core game are amazingly glittered, and I love them so much. Mm -hmm. And we roll them. Uh, let me roll them, roll them, roll them. The unicorn with those symbols will move Exciting. one more. Oh, OK. One. Yes, and the red one, yes. The red one. A unicorn can only move once by the effect of this print. So for example, if two red will rolled, the red will uh, always move just one. But you have many cards that influence also the sprint actions. So, for example, you sprint double, or so, or you stop, uh, you stop sprinting, or you lose the race, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The cards add a lot of variability and imprevisibility. Okay. This was the first turn of the race, and then we keep going, flipping cards, until the first unicorn reaches. No, just reaches, 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 reaches. Okay. Let's say this was the last card that we played. Okay, we we already sprinted. If a unicorn is touching the final line or surpasses the final line, is the first one. We take it, we put it at the first one, and is not gonna move anymore. Then we flip another card. 
Okay. And you always roll the dice after each card. Yes, after each card okay. you have the yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Let's say for example this one. This is one is two. One, two, three. Oh, stay there. Then you have the purple uh, one. Two yellow. One, two. And two for the blue. One, two. Then you roll the spring dice as usual. And the yellow gets first. And the green doesn't move because it's already already scored. So in this case, the the unicorn who has the um, the farthest from the line is considered second. And then we have the third that is touching the line. Mm -hmm. Okay. We keep going this way until all the unicorns are uh, have finished the race. Then we score the bets. We check one. Okay, we cash in money and fame, depending on how we want. You gain coins if your unicorn uh, placed one uh, first, second, or third. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the the table that I gave you at the start, and then we need to update this table. This table update if the horses performed better or worse uh, regarding his precedent position. So let's say, for example. The green one is here. Uh, he was the last, uh, the the second last. He gets plus one. Uh -huh, okay. Gets more quotation because he finished better. Yeah. This is the orange. Is in the same position, but it doesn't move. Let's say, for example, uh, the yellow is in third position, so it goes down one. The red was first, but now he came up first, so he okay. gets. Well, no, just okay. one, just one. Okay. Yes. The blue gets plus one. Hey, Daniel, you have to leave now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know. Uh, that's, basic, that's basically it. We but update we'll to the quotation, we yeah. uh, we make the setup again, and we start again with the, the, the action selection. This is uh, one of four races. Uh -huh. the, the key point that I want to, to say is you score glory token, but at the end of each turn, you have to pay enough money to keep those glory token, to keep your oh. fancy lifestyle. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. But so for each. The elf coming. Yes, the, the elf absolutely. Mob. The yeah. elf mob is yeah. coming. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so each turn you have to pay to keep your the glory that you scored. And if you cannot pay, you have to take low ones. There are these cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the end of the game, the low ones are very important because if you have loan, it's very hard for you to win. If you have unpaid loan, because you take 20 immediately, but you have to pay 25 back mm. to, to give the card back. And the winner is determined by the most glorious player, of course, and the player with the least amount of unpaid token cards is the winner. Uh, yes. Okay, so great. it's very important to pay up your debt before, before the the final race, or uh, if you're lucky, it's important to make other players have debt too, so, so you are tied. Yeah, okay. And it otherwise, otherwise yes. the Godfather may uh, bring a, a unicorn head in your, within your, in your Yes, it's not, it's, not, it's not very pleasure, exactly. That's basically the game. It's a fun and fast game, which probably doesn't translate well in tabletop because it's a very hard to move things around. And uh, it's uh, impredible. That, that's the the keyword because you can you can bet on them you can hope that your your horses will do fine you can help them but you always find out only when they uh, cut the final line okay you yeah. you have no no certainty of what you're doing you have to bet and hope for the best which is a real race okay okay yeah great yeah. thank you very much uh, thank, thank, okay. you, Mr. thank you yeah. so much thank you thank you very much guys okay. have a nice evening thank oh, you very much thank, thank you bye, bye guys bye, -bye.